Six Sandwich here, and welcome back to another video. All right, guys. So uploads are gonna be start being real frequent nowadays because I am back from Utah, as you guys can tell. I'm back in the the, the old room I always record in, the man cave. I like to call it because just not the fish and stuff in here. But yeah, guys. So before we get into the video, you know, I do want to uh, you know talk a little bit about what this video is. But why not just go ahead and do an intro for some of these videos? That way you guys aren't so confused and I can give you a little rundown of what we were doing that day. So yeah guys, we were uh, in Utah for about two weeks. Uh, some days were good fishing days. Some days were, you know, a little bit, you know, slow days. Like there wasn't enough to film a video uh, off of it. And then I have uh, one of those videos. I made just like a two part thing. Guys, if you wanna see like pictures that I post, I'm gonna be posting some pictures from Utah that I took too. So if you guys want to see those, go follow my Instagram. Uh, it'll be popped uh, somewhere around here, and then it'll also be linked down in the description. So yeah, guys. So basically, we fished this river where it has like these native brown trout in there. Um, people say there is cutthroat, but I feel like it's uh, more down or uh, more upstream. So we're just basically trying to target the wild uh, native brown trout that live in that area. That river has been there for quite some time, and I just now caught. A wild brown trout. All right, guys. Check that out, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. This is why I love fishing these rivers. Catch these nice, beautiful brown trout. We're gonna go ahead and release them. There he goes. I'm gonna teach you a little tips about fishing these rivers, guys. You always want to be as quiet as possible, and uh, you always want to like not wear bright clothing because if you wear bright clothing they'll see us from you always want to fish stuff like this where it's a little bit deeper another thing is since these are wild brown trout so we're going to release every single fish we catch unless for some reason we catch a rainbow you're going 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 oh he, oh he has one on no he, he got off see guys so one thing you always want to do is wear at least a gray clothing or a dark green uh these shorts aren't the best thing to fish in but as long as you stay quiet and you don't wear bright clothing and uh, you fish these pockets right here where they're a little bit deeper. You may not see them, but you'll definitely catch them. They're there. All right, guys, and if you can, stay away from the deep pools as as, um, as far as you can so you can cast inside of it. That way, if there is fish in there, you don't spook them. That's another good thing to do. Oh, there's your little spoon. I love if I was using this little silver spoon right here. Let me see. A little silver spoon, and I'm using a white inline uh, rooster tail. A little rooster tail right here. White rooster tail. Uh huh. Man, I love fishing this river so much. Oh, Jesus. No. Really? It's all good. Where at? Mm-hmm. Oh, dang, I got a plant. Let's move up. If only there was brook trout in here. There'd be so much spots for those brook trout to live here, especially right there. Slow retreat. Oh, I hit a hit. For real? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, 
Go ahead. Nice, nice. Might be one of these. River fishing school. Oh my god, guys, did you see that? Was, was that a trout? Oh, I really hope I got that on camera. That's freaking cool. Oh, dang. That's crazy. I've never seen a trout do that. Oh, dang it. Yeah. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Yeah, guys, look at that brown trout. It's a good sized brown trout. I know a spot where they get that big further on down, but that's definitely a wild brown trout. He's been in here for a while. Man, that's a crazy find. I'm gonna keep moving down. We haven't moved far, but we're gonna keep moving down. This is another one of my most favorite spots. It's really, really, really deep here. It's probably about 12 feet deep. As you can see, you cannot see the bottom, so it's really, really deep pool. This is probably one of my favorite pools to fish in at, at this river. If you don't know what a pool is, a pool is a specific uh, area in a, in a river that's uh, typically really deep and sometimes has still water in it, like this right here. It's a big pool. It's really, really deep. Those are the best spots to fish in a river too, is these little pools. But unlike this one, this one isn't little. It's a really big pool. Really, really deep too. Oh yeah. Just jumped out of there. You have to pick it out of there. Huh? We're gonna go around. Cause this spot's kinda deep. Yeah. I think they're just chilling around the edges over there. Yeah, they're chilling out there. Hold on. Watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Guys, I just had one on. Dang. Guys, I really did have one on. And he got off. You can see it too, huh? Yeah. He jumped out and he shook off my hook.
got one, guys. Oh. Look at that little brown trout. Oh, he can't even see it. Check out this beautiful, beautiful uh, brown trout. Look at the color on his tails. We're going to go ahead and release him. Look at right here. Yep, there he goes. What a beautiful fish. At least we catch him. Got one. No got one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Got a good one. Nah, yeah. Can? Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, my God. That's a good brown trout. Where's it at? Here, let me get the... Get the net. Get the net. Where's the net? Where's the net? Where's the net? Okay, okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let me see. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Oh my god. Let me net it. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me take it out. No, hold hold my rod, hold my rod. Oh crap. Here. Let let some line out. That's a good freaking brown. Oh my god. He's got a little cut right there. Oh god, that's a good look at that. He inhaled it. Alright guys. He's bleeding from that cut. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Look at that, guys. That's a freaking nice brown trout. I'm going to go ahead and release him. Alright. Alright, guys. Wow. That was a really nice brown. That was as big as the one we seen dead. Huh? Yeah. No, I think the, the dead one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, that was a, yeah, good oh, wow. I'm telling you, these fish know how to fight. These fish, these brown trout fight harder than rainbow trout. He bit my freaking inline spinner too. He's a little hurt, but he'll be fine. Where are we going? On his head. Wow, that was an awesome, awesome catch. I'm gonna cast in here again. I really hope the camera picked that up, but I don't know if y'all could see it, but I seen that fish come up and he freaking hammered it. Straight hammered it. He bent my thing too. That was an awesome catch. Awesome, awesome catch. Wait, hold up. Hold up. He's right in me. He's right in me. He's right in me. He's right in me. I don't even see him. Dude, just go. Just go. I'm telling you, watch. Just go. A nice little, small little brown trout on a brown inline spinner. Gonna move this up here. All right. Look at that, guys. Real beautiful little, little brown trout here. Real nice. Let's go ahead and release them. Here, release them. There you go, buddy. Boom. This is what I was using. Brown inline spinner with a golden blade. Brown one? Yep. 